U.S. Army recruiting take, take five. For years, the NCOs in my outfit realized that they had a problem, but they didn't exactly know what it was or who it was. They had problems with paperwork missing. They had problems with people missing. They finally realized that they had an alcoholic in their company. My name is George, alias Dr. Pye. Like yourself, I too have seen many television commercials about the harsh penalties that drinking and driving brings. I never thought that could happen to me, but one evening I was drinking with a friend at a bar, we'll call him Bob. We left, we were both heavily intoxicated. I was driving and Bob fell asleep in the passenger seat. On the way home, I slammed into three parked cars. Knowing the harsh penalties that drinking and driving provides, I quickly hopped into the back seat and propped Bob up behind the steering wheel. Bob is presently serving three years in the county jail for his actions that night. And it's true, drinking and driving can kill a friendship. For the past six months, there was a problem. A got a monkey on my back, <laughs> and I'll work for her. Okay. I've been a member of the United States Army for three years now, and uh, if I've learned anything, it's that there's no fucking way in the world that I'll ever re-enlist. Drugs cost too much. They're always trying to piss test you and bust you for stupid ass things, throw you out. And uh, I just don't need the bullshit, actually. So, uh, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. Take this shit. Hi, right, I've been in the U.S. Army now about 10 years, and, uh, I've been in the experimentation field, working, uh, with anything from, uh, the new Humvees to, uh, back in the old days of the, uh, Colorado BZ testing sites. And, um, I'll tell you, I think that the U.S. Army has really taken my health, my welfare, my mental alertness, considerations, fully into hand and uh, I don't worry one bit about my safety because uh, I believe that Uncle Sam has things well under control. The slight hallucinations I was having after the busy testing, it's mostly gone away. I don't, I don't see the uh, little white hands that I used to that used to just float around the area and uh, at least normally I don't normally see them anymore but um, the, the Army's taking good care of them for me and uh, I think they've told them to go away, but, um, but, um, 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 uh, uh, what were you talking about? Um, I, I just wanted to talk to you about re-enlistment in today's army.